Hello pretty girls, it's Rachel here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, today I have a really quick haul for you guys. I went to uh, Shoppers Drug Mart and I spent like a good 45 minutes just browsing around and checking out new products and um, just I wanted to test out a couple of new things. So I have some goodies to uh, show you guys and I will certainly let you know what I think of them once I've tried them because obviously I can't tell you right now. But um, the first one is L'Oreal Paris, and it's their new Studio Secrets um, Magic Perfecting Base. And it looks like this. I tried this on before I put on my makeup um, today, and so far, so good, I guess. I can't really tell. Um, I think my skin looks pretty good. Um, but I'll keep checking in, and um, I'll probably post like a, a review on it later if you guys want. And uh, basically what it says is it... Um, hides lines, hides pores, vanishes imperfections, it's a silky lightweight formula and it glides onto the skin leaving a velvety smooth base. Um, now you can put it on just as it is or you can put it on under your foundation or powder. Um, either way works. Give it to me. There's like a little sticky thing on the bottom. <laughs> anyway, um, so I've already kind of mm, like put my finger in this already. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's just a hole. I thought that was a fleck or something. I was like, no! But um, it's kind of this pinky color and it's a little, it's a creamy consistency, but it finishes very like um, velvety powdery kind of a finish. It does not feel greasy at all on my skin, which was great. And a little bit goes a long way, which is also fantastic. So if you are interested in checking this out, then I would put it on um, kind of your T-zone, um, along your nose and into your cheeks in here, because I, I guess maybe it's just me, but I get, like, my pores show up really, like, a lot in this kind of triangular area, and then on my chin as well. So um, I will do a review if you guys are interested on that. I also, um, my skincare routine includes a couple of products that were recommended to me by my dermatologist, and they are uh, Neostrata. And um, so I went back to Shoppers and wanted to try a couple of, um, or I wanted to try something else from Neostrata. So this is their oil-free mattifying fluid. Um, so it is ideal for oily, acne-prone skin, shiny skin, excess sebum for all ages. It's dermatology, dermatologist recommended. It's non-comedogenic, non-irritating, um, and it has like a lot of, you know, uh, scientific information about it. But basically... It leaves your skin having a soft matte finish for uh, up to six hours, which is pretty fantastic. It um, absorbs all the excess sebum in your skin, and you just get clear skin. You don't have to worry about the oil kind of settling on your face all day, uh, which is fantastic. So that is the box, and this is what the product looks like. And I believe, um, how much is this? I got ten dollars off, so they had to like split my bills. But anyway, um, so this was twenty five dollars, and then so this was yeah, this is twenty five dollars, and then this was uh, fourteen dollars. So that's good. And then everything that I had, I think, was on sale. I think I think most of the things that I bought were on sale, which is awesome. Um, I bought. Just, um, these are just cosmetic pads, like, you know, for taking off makeup and stuff like that. Um, I used to use, like, toilet paper or Kleenex, but it just shreds and gets in my eye, and it's just not very nice. So, um, get these instead, and they're, like, I think, um, it's 120 for, like, 375 or something like that, which is good. Okay, another product that I got, not today, but I've gotten, I got recently, um, that I wanted to just share with you guys is the Garnier Fructis Thermo Volume Spray with Bamboo Extract, and it's uh, heat activated to amplify your style, and in terms of hold, it is a 2 out of 5, which means it's not a super strong hold, kind of like a, a hairspray might be, but it does help keep the volume in your hair for longer, and it also protects your hair from the heat. So I've tried this a couple of times, not enough to do, kind of, I can tell you what I think, but um, 
so far so good. What I do is I spritz it in my hand because my hair is super oily and I kind of mess it into my hair from there and kind of stay away from my roots. And so far so good, but fingers crossed this will be kind of a staple in my um, hair product care routine. <laughs> Okay, I know I talk a ton about sunscreen and how important it is to protect your skin at all ages, to prevent wrinkles, to prevent sun damage, to prevent age spots, all that kind of stuff. And I have had the biggest trouble trying to find, biggest trouble? Largest trouble? I've had a lot of trouble finding a, um, a sunscreen that is just a, a plain sunscreen that I can apply to my face every day isn't moisturizing, isn't going to make my skin super oily, and it has been driving me bonkers. So um, what I purchased is the Neo Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen, uh, SPF 50, um, ultra light, fast absorbing, dermatology recommended, dermatologist recommended, sorry. And um, so I'm going to try this out. I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know. But I'm going to see if it um, is as great as it sounds because, I mean, dry touch, that sounds awesome. Um, but um, I will keep you guys posted on this. And then a couple of makeup stuff that I got. I got um, a Maybelline came out with their own lip stain as well. Uh, this is the Color Sensational Lip Stain, and this is in Touch of Toffee. So looks like that. So it's a little bit more of a neutral color than my, my other one. Um, although I really am sad that it doesn't have the, um, the moisturizing thing at the bottom. So I may return this depending on what the color looks like. And then I got two nail polishes that I'm super, super excited to try because they are beautiful. And they're by the cosmetic brand Gosh. I don't know if you guys have heard about it. I don't know if it's just a Canadian thing or not. But anyway, um, and they do makeup. Uh, all sorts of makeup, nail polish, um, creams, cleansers, and I got them in two lovely, lovely colors. So this first one is a metallic blue, not very exciting name, but amazing color. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh, I am, I am so excited. It's kind of, um, it's a metallic blue, but it's almost like a pale kind of gray blue, um, super excited to try this and I really want to try like a matte finish to it so add like a, um, a matte nail polish on top like a clear one just to kind of mattify the shimmer because uh, I think that'll be an awesome effect and then the second one is metallic purple again not a very exciting name but look at that color oh my gosh guys I can't even tell you how excited I am to try these colors on they're so pretty and these two were on sale as well and I got them for five dollars each so that's awesome and I think that yeah that, that's everything that I got so um, yeah I will l let me know if you guys want to see reviews on any of those particular items um, and I'll pick the items that get commented or thumbs up -ed the most um, if that makes any sense and uh, yeah so I will be back soon with some more reviews and tutorials and outfits and all that crazy fun stuff. If you guys have any requests, feel free to post them below. I read all of your comments and um, yeah, that's about it. Love you guys. Bye. Mwah.